I was able to speak to Metropolitan Police Traffic and Collisions Unit to discuss usage of head cams, dash cams, journey cams to report dangerous behaviour on the roads. You can know me as a phone kills, I'm Mukash, and I was invited over there thanks to amazing charity Action Vision Zero who is looking into improving safety of vulnerable road users. And I'm long enough about third party reporting that I met most of the people who are known from the headlines and many police officers who are responsible for the third party reporting. And to be honest, I learned enough to write a book about that. But that's not the video, it's about this third update with the feedback from Metropolitan Police and the one that many are looking for about feedback itself, about feedback people are getting after reporting. What information is being provided to reportees, witnesses, sometimes victims about the reports and why there is so little, why it takes so long time, etc. Before I jump to that, under previous videos there were some comments like from usual suspects saying, you know, you are vigilantes, menace of the roles, you are always cyclists. Think about that for a second. First, most of the people reporting are still drivers. Most, in any county in the UK, most people reporting to the police dangerous behavior on the roads are drivers and they're reporting for a reason. Also, many people reporting are reporting actual situations when they or others are put in danger. I know some of you trivialize use of mobile phones, and I'm not really talking about mobile phones, while wow, they're massive, massive danger, especially to pedestrians around pedestrian crossings. And you can, different video, we can drill into that. Over here, we focus mostly on close passes, uh, hooks, etc. If you are against someone reporting dangerous behavior to the police, then A, you don't understand how policing works in the UK and what the history, where it comes like policing by consent, uh, uh, PD and principles, why it's different from reservoir world, basically is quite unique across the world. Why third party reporting can exist probably mostly and only in the UK. You are ignoring that fact. If you're against that, like think, if you have a burglar, are you against using CCTV to go after burglar? Are you against using CCTV we have in going against people who are using now illegal mopeds, the, the one pretending to be uh, bicycles and are staying phones on Oxford Street? No, you are not. And this is the same situation. Someone is a witness, someone is a victim, and we are using public to help police because police cannot be everywhere. And if you are still against that and you are just using you know, Mike Van Erp or few others as examples of something you don't like, then you are a problem group because probably the, your matter of driving makes you being afraid of being caught. That's simple. That's simple. So come back to the feedback. People are reporting. Different forces have different way of dealing with that. Essex police will send warning letters to almost everyone because they never learn. Some forces are very good in responding in a detail and even Metropolitan Police was quite good at some, time, at some point in responding. But that changed. For some time, mostly you get just information that there was a notice of intended prosecution, NIP, sent to a driver or other road user. Once TOS decides to take an action, you may get some message about the warning letter. If you wouldn't get anything within a few weeks from reporting, then unfortunately that means probably no action was taken. And there was a good reason why it wasn't taken. Probably it wasn't taken because A, evidence wasn't good enough or they weren't able to send the NIP within 14 days. And that it is. We are in a situation when MET is overloaded and they're not able to cope with all the reports. And you cannot take that personally. Some people are going, have a go on tours and saying, oh, you're not doing your job. Understand how many reports they are dealing with. And there is no prioritization, first in, first out, unfortunately. Maybe they should be. And sometimes things are slipping through. It doesn't mean that you, if you got away with doing something very wrong on the roads, you got away every time. At some point, you'll be caught. So just keep that in mind. Then the reasons for further no updates are again, there isn't enough automation and 
I know everything can be fixed tech by technology. I'm working in technology myself, but organizations like police are moving very slowly. They're limited by security, by legislators, by regulators, from using even public help to improve the process. There are many processes that we could help them improve and optimize, but because of a organizational level, it's very difficult. It's not like they don't know about it. We are promoting that and they are willing to have help, but they are not able. And we are continuing this um, discussion. There's one big provider for the portals we have on police. And they also are moving very slowly because they are regulated, etc. That's one thing. A lot of things are done manually, that takes time. They just cannot do. And previously, a lot of feedback was done manually, to specifically to you. And sometimes still is. Many police officers are thinking and 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 coping that point that feedback has to be very personal because they have to also judge how you behave. They have to give feedback for you so you behave, become safer road user. I used to have NIP as a cyclist. I got NIP as a cyclist for my own report when I was taught what I should do different. And I was able to defend myself against fine, but I was taught and I will learn how to be better on the roads. You have to also learn from that is if you're a driver. Sometimes you can go on a course, you can take a fixed penalty. Sometimes you have to go to the court and that's another thing. Those processes are taking so much time and the other organizations involved that the police have no capacity to come back and keep updating. We don't have centralized system when you know one thing comes to the next stage, you get information. Some forces you will use GDPR as exception, as explanation why it's not happening, but it's pure misunderstanding of GDPR. GDPR works differently, it's applied to different entities. And if you are a witness, or especially if you are a victim, you are entitled to some dates. And that's one of the reasons that probably often third party reports are referred as a witness, not as a victim. Because as a victim, we have a far more rights to get updates. And that is far more legislative problem for whole organization. If something is sent as an IP, owner have a time to respond to name, nominate the driver. And then sometimes back and forth, that can come for months before finally it's decided that things go to the court. And usually if you have an update after sending an IP to you that something happens still with a call, with a case, is that when you're summoned as a witness to the court, and that will be more likely in a situation with closed passes than with the phones, because phones are clear, with closed passes sometimes you have to discuss these things, and then I can highly recommend you to use... Um, while reporting tools like the free to app built for you, close pass app, you can use it, close pass app to explain the distances based on Google Maps, etc. They are not able to give you more feedback. They are trying, they are willing. We just need to help them grow, get more budgets, etc. There is no bad will on the side of Metropolitan Police and other forces regards giving you feedback. And there is a way we can help them. Many people are sending endless number of requires and inquiries and FOIs to the police. The best way, and Matt is working on that, is to allow to them for them to go proactive. And Matt is going to, they're working on that, to publish updates in a similar way that Yorkshire Police is doing. I don't remember which one was one very good, one was very bad, but one of them is reporting proactively the stats about um all the offenses about all the cases and they put it just openly on the website and then you can just browse it i think devon was doing something similar one of the west counties was doing something similar and if we allow Matt go to this direction they will spend less time of responding to oh what is update on my report um, and they may be able to process more cases so don't send many mails saying, ah, oh, I want update on this one, because it's just eating the time and they have limited resources. And then also ask yourself a question, why you need that update? Isn't that enough? And I, I will trigger some of uh, my fellow reporters, why you need an update? Sometimes it's good to have uh, some conclusion. So maybe if you want to use your video for educational purposes and Sometimes to build a channel, like, you know, hardly anyone has monetized channel and most of people are accused of that, but 
if you want to do that you know no one has a, a reasonable uh, expectation of privacy when they are driving that, that doesn't exist in uk you can publish that i hope you are doing that in a good faith as education to make other people aware of the dangers on the road not to go after someone not to name and shame because no if they are being prosecuted they already are acting on they already have something to do with uh, ask yourself do you need anything more maybe let's just focus on enjoying our rides enjoying our driving enjoy our walking reporting those people who are causing problems but not necessarily make a show of it and I know I'm posting sometimes my videos and others are posting this can be fine but if you are doing that only for sole purpose to fame and I know hardly anyone is doing but many people are accused of doing that if we are by this way overloading people who are helping us as police is doing there's something wrong so have a thought do you need those updates because probably we don't need them There'll be more updates uh, i think seven of them this is the third so stay tuned jump on a bike i'll be on a bike soon and stay safe cheers